Trifala is a herbal formula that's been very popular throughout India and all across the Himalayan regions for a very long time. It's an important part of Tibetan medicine and Ayurvedic medicine really because it's suitable for all different types of people. And in Ayurveda, it's classified as a Rasayana, which means it's a, a powerful restorative medicine that treats numerous common health conditions, and it offers excellent preventive support in warding off sickness before it takes hold in the body. It revives and detoxifies all body tissues and fluids, supports the vital organs, increases digestive fire, cleanses the entire gastrointestinal tract, and supports a healthy microbiome. It also has analgesic pain-relieving properties, regulates blood sugar, blood pressure, and serum cholesterol, and is also a pulmonary tonic that supports respiratory health. Traditionally, it was even used to stabilize the emotional state of the patient, and more recent investigations into Trifola have shown that it possesses some anti-tumor properties. So it's an incredible medicine with an almost magical reputation, and for good reason. Trifala is a Sanskrit word that can basically be broken down into two parts. Tree obviously means three, and phala means fruit. So Trifala is a blend of three fruits, which are Terminalia chebula, Terminalia bellerica, and Emblica officinalis. So to comprehend just how effective Trifola can be as a medicine, it's important that we try to perceive it from a traditional context. Now, both Tibetan medicine and Ayurveda diagnose the patient according to their unique constitution. So we're all made out of the same human ingredients, but the arrangement and the amounts of each of these ingredients can vary a lot from one person to the next. There are the five elements of nature. There's earth, water, fire, wind, and space. And together, these produce the natural world around us, as well as our physical bodies and our minds. Now, the internal five elements can be reduced to three basic principles, hot, cold, and neutral. Now, fire is obviously hot, while earth and water are generally cold-natured, and wind is considered to be neutral, while space is understood as the aspect of potential that enables all of the other elements to exist. Some people have more of a hot nature, while some are more cold and others are more neutral, or we can have a predominance of two of these principles, or even all three. Now, I'm going to be exploring this particular subject in more detail in upcoming videos very soon, so I'm not going to go into too much more detail on that here, but for now, we can say that although people are all similar, some of us are bigger, some are smaller, some are heavier, some lighter, some are hotter, some are colder, some people are more confident while others are more nervous, some people are naturally light-hearted, whereas some have a tendency towards depression, and other people get angry very easily. So our body, mental state, and our health conditions all arise as a result of our personal constitution, which may be similar or very different from other people that we know, which is why one diet, one medicine, workout, or lifestyle doesn't ever work exactly the same way for everybody. And it's also why we need to eat, medicate, exercise, and rest in a way that supports us as individuals. So with that said, we can start to see why Trifola is so special, because it's one of the rare cases where a natural medicine is actually supportive and balancing to all types of people, to all possible constitutional types. In Ayurveda, this means that it's suitable to people with a predominance of Vata, Pitta, or Kapha doshas, or really any combination of these energies. So the three fruits of Trifola have a synergistic alchemical effect when prepared and combined properly. So to get an idea of how this works, let's have a quick look at each of these fruits individually. 
The Sanskrit name for Terminalia chabula is Harataki, and the Tibetan name is Arura. Now, Arura is the Myrobalan fruit that is classed as king of medicines in both Ayurveda and Tibetan medicine. The medicine Buddha holds a stem of this plant in his right hand, which is a symbol of natural medicines and their ability to cure physical diseases, while in his left hand, he supports a bowl of nectar, which symbolizes the possibility of spiritual awakening, which is really considered the ultimate cure for the conditions of ignorance and other mental afflictions. So the medicine Buddha is demonstrating the path of healing for the body and the mind. And the fact that Arura or Harataki represents the physical aspect of healing it shows us the extent to which it has been traditionally revered throughout the centuries. Harataki is native to all parts of India, and there are seven main varieties. They all have similar properties, but each one has an emphasis on a specific health benefit. But generally speaking, Harataki balances all constitutional types, it revitalizes all tissues and organs, it supports respiratory health, and it's been used as a treatment for asthma and bronchitis, as well as infectious diseases like pulmonary tuberculosis. It's a very effective in treating the common cold, increasing digestive fire and our ability to absorb and assimilate nutrients, as well as treating persistent cases of hemorrhoids. Harataki possesses all six tastes, which is sweet, sour, salty, astringent, bitter, and pungent or spicy. And this is one of the reasons why it is suitable for all different constitutional types and why it's been considered as such a superior medicine above almost all others. And it's also why it's a very important part of so many uh, herbal formulas in both Tibetan medicine and Ayurveda. The Sanskrit name for Terminalia balerica is Bibitaki, while the Tibetan name is Barura. Now this fruit is also native all throughout India, and it's known in Hindi as the fruit that dispels the fear of disease. Now Bibitaki is balancing to the cold and heavy, as well as hot and light energies within the body, or the Kapha and Pitta doshas, according to Ayurveda. It helps to purify the lymph and the interstitial fluid within the body, reducing hot-natured pathologies such as fever and disorders of the blood, and it reduces inflammation in the eyes and has been traditionally used as a natural treatment for hair loss. It's also antiparasitic, detoxifying, and strengthens the immune system. The third fruit of Trifala is Emblica officinalis, and its Sanskrit name is Amalaki, although it's commonly known as Amla, and the Tibetan name is Kyarura. Also, the common name in English is Indian gooseberry, and this plant is again native all across India, and it's pacifying to the Pitta and Kapha doshas of Ayurveda, or the hot and cold energies of the body's constitution. Now, it's very rich in antioxidants, enhances immunity, supports the optimal functioning of the liver, and stimulates the flow of bile from the gallbladder, and in doing so, supports digestion and the assimilation of nutrients. Now, it's a natural blood cleanser, and is effective in lowering hypertension, and it's also used in the treatment of infections that target the eyes and the lungs specifically. It's a natural remedy for water retention, congestion in the upper respiratory tract, and just like Bibitaki, it's also been used throughout the centuries as an antidote to hair loss. Now, it also improves insulin sensitivity and regulates blood sugar, so it's indicated in the natural treatment of diabetes as well. So the synergistic combination of these three fruits creates a very safe natural remedy and preventive medicine for such a wide range of common health conditions, from hot-natured to cold-natured to neutral, and so, you know, it really is suitable for all different types of people, and this level of versatility is actually quite rare in a natural medicine, and so this is why 
these three fruits individually and the combination of them in the Trifola formula has been considered for a very long time as one of nature's panaceas. Because they have a genuine systemic effect on the body-mind organism and the protection and overall fortification of health that Trifola can provide is traditionally believed to reduce fear, sadness and anger and other emotional obstacles that we may be facing which of course leads to a calmer, heightened mental state and increased feelings of confidence and happiness. Not all Trifola can be considered as equal though because just like with any other popular supplement or health product, the marketplace is awash with suboptimal products that are prepared incorrectly and they're made with just low quality ingredients. So always make sure that your Trifola is organic and just make sure that it's prepared the traditional way without the seeds. The seeds of these fruits do have their own medicinal applications, but they're not classified in the same category as the fruits. So they can cause minor toxicity and some assimilation problems when they're included as part of the Trifola blend. Traditionally, the seeds are all removed and only the fruit pulp and the rind is used. Dosage will very much depend on the age and the size of the person, as well as their personal constitution, and also, you know, what their intention is behind using Trifolet in the first place. But generally speaking, if we use a more long-term lower dose, then that's going to provide more of a regenerative, revitalizing effect, whereas if we were to take it over a shorter period of time at a much higher dose, then that's going to have more of a cleansing and purgative effect. Trifola can be consumed in a number of different ways, as a powder, an encapsulated supplement, as an infusion, Trifola infused ghee or medicinal butter, and people also use it as a natural wound cleanser, a toothpaste, and a hair wash. There's generally no contraindications because this is a very safe formula, however if you have ongoing diarrhea and loose bowel movements then it's generally advised that you avoid Trifola until digestion and peristalsis of the GI tract has normalized. So that's it for this video, so if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section down below and if you would like to support Nisha on Patreon then the link to our Patreon page is also underneath the video. Patreon genuinely does help this channel to continue so any support at all is greatly appreciated but either way thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll talk to you again soon.